Hello, Gerbs Collectibles, and uh, today I'm gonna do a uh, my revealing of my order from Luki Games. Uh, I was a first order the last couple months, maybe three months. I'm not sure. Uh, since this virus started, I haven't been buying any games, but I've I'm finally back at work, and you know I've got somewhat of my unemployment all figured out, so. I figure I do I uh get a little order of my games. Um I purchased eight games and um I only spent twenty five bucks. It was like twenty five oh one to be exact. So I just wanted to do the uh the filler games here. Um I picked up like games from systems as in NES, Super NES, uh I think N sixty four. I think I did one PlayStation one game too. I'm not can't remember. I think one Game Boy game. Uh, maybe a game, maybe a GameCube game too. I'm not sure, but I mean, there's eight of them, so it'll be multiple ones. And I wanna show you guys what I got. Uh, when you do their orders of through Luki Games, um, when you spend at least twenty five bucks, it's free shipping. That's why I got it up to that margin. smokes uh, they didn't really package these too well this time but as long as the, the condition is still good and everything and the game plays I have never had a problem with that okay so we'll go for the we did get a Game Boy game we got the play action football and of course for the regular Game Boy Conditioning looks good on here. Excellent. And for the Ed 64, we've got NFL Club, or excuse me, NFL Quarterback Club 99. If you're going to notice out of this one here, there's a lot of um, sports games in this one. Conditioning looks good on this one as well. And for the uh, GameCube, we've got Madden 2002. And it should be complete, yep. That's the one thing when I'm going to be, be uh, collecting the uh, GameCube games is I want them complete. Ooh, condition's a little, uh, for the case, is rough. The disc is good, but I don't like this right here. I don't buy the sticker here, but the condition of these, and a little bit right here. Maybe I'll be able to clean some of it off. And then there's, yeah, there's some more in the front here. That kind of stinks, but that's okay. You know, if I ever come across it, you know, at a, like at a garage sale or something, and it's in better condition, then I'll just swap it out, you know, buy it, and then I can just sell this one, you know, in the near future. If we could ever, I don't know if we'll be doing garage sales this summer with the whole virus, but you never know. Okay, this should be my own, I think this is my only NES game. Let's see, Anticipation. This one's in good condition as well. Labeling looks really good. Awesome. Those four games are already halfway there. And then for the uh, PlayStation 1, we had WWF Warzone. And there's some scratches and some cracks on this case, which is very uh, disappointing. And let's see. Disc. Of course, it's complete. You know, with the... That's the only reason why I got this. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. This looks really great. And that's another one too for like the GameCube or the case. If I ever come across it in the garage sale. Or for or even another store. I mean, I don't go to really any game stores unless I come across Goodwill or something. I don't really go to uh, GameStop. 
The closest GameStop actually is like... I don't know if that one location's open anymore, but I know the one that is open is like two hours away. So I'm not... Not in a good spot for getting video games around here. That's why I make these orders. Okay, the next two are for the uh, Super NES. We got Mad 95, Mad 94. Yeah, could, this could, uh, 94 is pretty good condition. Uh, this 95, not, not too bad. Take, clean some of this off a little bit. Backs look good. Awesome. And the last one here for the uh, N64 is the uh, other uh, NFL Quarterback Club 98. I know what you're thinking, you know, I got a lot of, you know, low-end, like, you know, probably some crappy games. I, you know, I don't know. But, I mean, like I said, this is for my collection. You know, I'll be testing these out. I'm not going to be playing these games every day. Or not even, like, not even probably once a month. But this is for my collection. And these are, I still need a ton of filler games. You know, I think an average, obviously. So there was a, I spent 25 bucks on 8 games. I spent, like, just over 3 bucks a game. You know, to me, that's a pretty good deal. And I'm just, I just wanted to make an order, and you know, and I will try to make another order here in another couple weeks, uh, probably another uh, cheap order again, because a lot of the games went, uh, like the good ones went up higher because of the virus. So I don't, I don't expect it to jump down anytime soon. So I just want to keep on getting these uh, filler titles, and uh, that'll be uh, easier when I, and I got a couple lists together i think the nes super nes and the n64 i have lists together and i'll uh so then i can knock these down and then i gotta make the lists here for the game boys and this uh sega i think next time i'll take my next order i'll get a uh, sega game but uh anyways uh that will do it for this uh revealing here my package order uh like comment subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos and of course you know you can check out my other videos here until then see you next time